Here we go then. Barcelona against Juventus. I'm John Champion and sitting alongside me up here in our lofty perch in the commentary box is Jim Begley. And the stadium comes to life as we hear the strains of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Away we go. Barcelona against Juventus. And play switched right across. Pedro. Basali. Guadalupe Azamoa, Pirlo, Vasali, Vucinic looking to play on the break. Well, he just ran down the cul-de-sac then. No wonder he lost the ball. Clumps it long. Well, he was given the time to throw it initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Cesc Fabregas. Sergio Busquets. And Messi. Messi really has the confidence and skill to be able to hold the ball up like that until the support arrives a little sooner and just maybe there he overdid it slightly and should have released it because the support was arriving quickly. PK. Sergio Busquets. Daniel Alves. Now Pedro. Here's Messi. Alves. Possibility here for a cross. Says Fabregas. A goal for Barcelona. And there's the first goal of the game. Well, what can you say about that goal? That's a striker's dream. Unmarked in front of goal. It was on a plate for him and he wasn't going to miss it.
so we resume at 1-0 oh, they've done well to take the lead there but they can't let their opponents back in have to stay focused Lee Steiner play surges forward Vazali puts a stop to the attack Steals the ball. Could be a goal here. They've done it. They lead by two. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Beglin? Look, I don't want to take anything away from the finish because he ghosted his way into position. But where was the communication in that defence? Who was taking charge? Nobody. So it's now two without reply. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1-0 can be a fragile scoreline, but now that they have that extra cushion, two should be enough. Iniesta. Vidal. Vazali. Break is on. Picked off. Says Fabregas. Shabby has teed up this corner. The keeper coming in and making the catch. Vazali. Chiellini Pirlo Marchisio plays it upfield Jordi Alba is there to intercept Alves. And with that, the referee brings the first half to a close. They lead by two goals to nil at this point. So away we go then for the second half. Chiellini Quadro Azamoa and he launches it forward Iniesta Marchisio Bonucci Chiellini Vasali Steiner here's Vucinic a crucial intervention there PK Sergio Busquets Giovinco the ball is with Vucinic slides it through the ball threaded through Giovinco shoots Pirlo is the player to take it. 
gentle touch by the keeper. Pedro Pirlo. Vidal. No, possession lost. Chiellini. Bonucci. Lichsteiner. Vidal. Maserano. Quickly closed down. Daniel Alves. Cuts out what was really a sloppy pass. PK. There'll be a throw in. So, from what I can see on the touchline, we're on the brink of a substitution. Well, if the deadlock is about to be broken, then it may well have to come from the bench. I mean, fresh legs when others are beginning to tire now could just do the trick. This game might just get a little stretched if it help. Vidar takes advantage of a poor pass. Pirlo plays it long. Through ball over the top. Wins the ball. Shoots here. That was a real chance. Oh, listen, their task is tough enough already without missing chances like that. The next one has to go in. And a shot here. He really should have done better from there. Oh, the ball in at such good pace on it. He only had to redirect it with his head. I think the cross was an absolute peach. Bonucci. Iniesta. Iniesta. He's making a good run here. Daniel Alves. Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba, building up nicely, Cesc Fabregas, who's just added his name to the score sheet, Chiellini is in position to intercept, he did well to get it, what next? A really impressive run through, going forward with purpose, can he now find a finish? The keeper always the favourite there. Yeah, I'm sure he was trying to place it in the corner of the net, but he's not likely to score by firing straight at the keeper. No luck again, just like last time. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can convert a string of very decent opportunities. Shabby will swing one in. And it's the keeper on the receiving end of the cross. Quadro Azamoa. That's it. After much consultation with his stopwatch, the referee has blown for time. They've done it. A great win for them here. They did everything possible to ensure the victory. And their supporters are going wild. I think some of the players are going to be a bit sore after that. There was so much passion and commitment out there. I can't remember anyone shirking a tackle. And that's the end of tonight's broadcast from me, John Champion, and my co-commentator Jim Beglin. A very good evening.